All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 66. Today, we're all about reading centimeter scales. So let's dive right in. So to start off with, metric rulers are usually labeled with only centimeters. The millimeters are marked, but are not labeled. This is a centimeter line, there's two centimeters, three centimeters, and so on. And let's explain a little bit more about the millimeters. So each number on a metric ruler represents either one centimeter or 10 millimeters. Each centimeter is divided into 10 millimeters. So a millimeter is one-tenth of a centimeter. This first line here, one, we said it's one centimeter, but if you count these teeny tiny little lines, you'll find out it's 10 millimeters. This two that's marked, that's two centimeters, but if you count the teeny tiny lines, you'll find out it's 20 millimeters. Three centimeters, 30 millimeters. 4 centimeters, 40 millimeters. All the way over here, this one gets a little interesting. If I count here, here's 8 centimeters or 80 millimeters. So that would be 81, 82, 83, 84. It's 85 millimeters, so you'd write it 8.5 centimeters, because remember, 0.5 is a half, right? That is the halfway point. You're not going to call it eight and a half centimeters. It's really eight and five tenths, 8.5. So that brings us up to our next point here, metric measurement, whether it's meters or decimeters or centimeters or millimeters, whatever is always expressed in decimals, not fractions. So if you remember, one-tenth is equal to 0 0.1. Two-tenths is equal to 0 0.2. Three-tenths is really 0 0.3, as you can see on this number line here, right? So if we had to go and ask in metric measurement, what this arrow is pointing to, you're going to write it as 0 0.6, not as 6 tenths. So let's start off easy before we start using millimeters and centimeters. We're going to see a lot of this. Write the decimal number the arrow is pointing to. So Here's the whole number seven. Way over here is the next whole number, the whole number eight. And you'll find out there's 10 unit segments between the whole numbers. Remember, unit segments are the space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 10, right? 10 unit segments between the whole numbers. So the answer is always going to be a mixed number written with tenths as a decimal. Here's 7. This would be 7 and 1 tenths. 7 and 2 tenths. So this arrow over here, that's 7 and 3 tenths. So if you remember what we just saw over here, right? Three tenths will just be a 0.3, right? So I'm going to write it seven and three in the tenths place. How about this guy over here? It's still the whole number seven. If this is seven and three tenths, here's seven and four tenths. 5 tenths, 6 tenths, this is 7 and 7 tenths. So if I got to write them as a decimal number, 7 and 7 tenths. 
Let's try it again, because we're going to see lots of these, only this time here's the whole number 2, here's the whole number 3. So if this is 2, this is 2 and 1 tenth, right? So 2, how to make and would be the decimal point, and a 1. 2 and 1 tenth. Way over here, if you count, if this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, this is two and nine tenths. So it's right down the whole number two, decimal point for and, and the nine in the tenths place. Not too tough so far, right? So, when you write centimeters and millimeters that don't end in zero, you're always going to use the same digits. Only the decimal point will change. So, I want to show you right now. Let's go and measure this guy in, how about we start with millimeters. Here's 10 millimeters. 20 millimeters, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's pointing right here, so that is 25 millimeters. Note that I used a 2 and a 5, right? So when it comes time to measure it out in centimeters, one whole centimeter, two whole centimeters, just like we were doing on that number line, two and one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, right? It would just be 2.5. Two and five tenths centimeters. Only the decimal point will change. If you used a two and a five here, you better use a 2 and a 5 here, because if you didn't, you did something wrong. So let's go ahead right now and try to write the length of all these as both millimeters and centimeters. And it is going to be imperative that when we write these, we label them so I know which one you're trying to describe. Let's go and do this one here. Here's four whole centimeters, right? Four and one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, because point five is the guy in the middle, the same as half. Six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, right? Four and eight tenths of a centimeter. So four and eight tenths. Let's go and get them labeled up as centimeters. So if I used a 4 and an 8 for centimeters, I better use a 4 and an 8 for millimeters. 48 millimeters. You could go ahead and count them all, but if you understand if you use the same digits here, you're going to use the same digits here. Let's go and try this one. Let's do it up in centimeters first. Here's seven whole centimeters, right? Seven and one tenth, seven and two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. I'm not going to call it seven and a half. Seven and five tenths of a centimeter. So seven and five tenths centimeter. Let's go ahead now and try to get it labeled in for millimeters. If I used a seven and a five for the centimeters, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. I could count them, but it's not going to change at all. If I used a 7 and a 5 for centimeters, I am going to use the digits 7 
and 5 for millimeters, right? So to convert millimeters to centimeters, all you have to do is divide by 10. And you could go ahead and do that, but we really haven't learned how to divide decimal numbers too well other than money problems. So I want to show you one quick, easy way to do it. Move the decimal point over one place to the left. But some people are looking here saying, but Mr. Hines, there is no decimal point there. Well, there really is, only it's invisible. So if I move it over one place to the left, you're going to end up with one and four tenths of a centimeter, right? How about this guy? 36 millimeters equals how many centimeters? Well, the decimal point is here in the end. I'm going to move them one place to the left. So, three and six tenths centimeters. And one more here, 49 millimeters. If you got an invisible decimal point at the end, move it one place to the left, and you end up with four and nine tenths of a centimeter. 4.9, but he's really pronounced four and nine tenths. Not too tough, right? So let's try it on the other way to convert millimeters to centimeters, just multiply by 10. And technically we could do that, or we can just go and move the decimal point over one place to the right. So I have three and one tenth of a centimeter. If I'm gonna go and move this decimal point over one place to the right, he's gonna end up right here in the end and the rule is with decimal points, if he comes at the end, you don't have to write him. You're not going to say, hey, buddy, can I borrow 31 and nothing? No, you'll just say 31, right? You don't have to say and nothing. So if the decimal point's at the end, don't write it in. Over here, I just move the decimal point over one place to the right. You end up with... 61 millimeters. Or four and nine tenths of a centimeter, moving them over one place to the right, you end up with just 49 millimeters, right? So not too tough so far. All right, it's about as simple as that. You might want to scratch a piece of paper for the Socrative quiz.